Uh, so here we are, season three. You know, they say all good things come in threes. You had the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Uh, okay, the Hobbit trilogy wasn't the best. Uh, okay, you had the Godfather trilogy. Alright, the third one was ordinary. Alright, Star Wars. The Star Wars trilogy. Okay, the last three were very ordinary. You know what? Let's just scrap this. I'm going to go again. So, here we are. Season 3. Back to the few. Derek, I'm going live. Can you, Derek? Can you move? Can you, can you get out? Yeah, go over there. Sorry, guys. That was uh. So that was Back to the Future. That's just so that's just the crew coming in. They want to film now, so hope you stay safe. And uh, yeah, see you then. All right, guys. See ya. I was just doing the live stream, the live stream's going alright. Um, you guys want nachos? Hey! How you doing guys? So we're back, eh? Season 3. Just been doing the live streams and that, and uh... been really good um nothing much has changed really i've just been working on um my little business doing the candles and the smoke ones so i've made a few sales which has been really good um but actually i do have some big ish news it's actually a bit coincidental that you got me in the punch because you know sometimes they go to westerns you know like in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 they they're in japan uh, i think in toy story 3 they were they started off with a western themed do you guys remember, you remember Clementine? <laughs> she is, she actually bought a house, not too far from here, but sort of like up on the hill. It's a little bit of a drive. And she's looking for people to um, move in with her, like roommates and stuff. So she asked me, of course. <laughs> oh, I love I you. Do. I love you too. And yeah, I'm actually thinking that it could be really good for me. It could be nice to have, you know, a bit of a change of scenery, a different kind of living environment. So here's the setup. We've actually got the desk now, which is gonna be part of our streaming platform for home video. And I keep telling James, stream some good movies, okay? No one wants to watch that foreign crap. I mean, it's, it, yeah, it's critically acclaimed, but it's like, a lot of it's boring shit. Um, and I keep telling him too, we need to get some hot chicks in the store one sitting here one behind the desk even one here i mean can you imagine just like you walk in that door and there's a girl standing right here and she just hands you these dvds you know it's a bit of a pipe dream but hey one can have ambitions huh Welcome to Home Video, this is Alan. I made sure to tell James that, you know, with the live streams and all that he's doing, it would be good if we incorporated more of the social media stuff. Oh, by the way, step up, 2006, Channing Tatum, Jenna Dewan, distributed by Summit Entertainment. Pretty average film, but anyway. I still have to tell James about me moving out. I'm not sure, I'm not sure how I'm gonna deliver that news to him, actually. Um, it doesn't really matter about Alan, it doesn't really matter what he thinks, but... That's big at the moment on TikTok, where a lot of people are doing these dance videos, and I thought that'd be a great way to really bring some, you know, attraction to the home video store. Hey, 
Hey, JJ! Yeah, to tell you the truth, guys, things haven't really been as great as I make it out to be. I mean, thanks to the wonderful world of the internet, uh, someone out there has created a Facebook page, or shall I say memes, in regards to my Anal Ease commercial, and uh, yeah, I'm a bit of a laughingstock on that webpage, so I've got a couple of memes. Here's uh, one I found. Yes, yeah, so as you can see from that chasm down that well. I think you get an idea what they're referring to. When you realize your acting career is over before it begun. When he's packing more meat than expected. Shame on the streets, freaking the sheets. Hey, Charles. Hey, Chad, how you doing? Hey, you just got those videos for you. Most things, you know, that come in threes are good. Uh, you know, it's like trilogies, movie trilogies. You've got a beginning, a middle, and an end, and it's like the perfect package. And I'll see these guys back again. How you going, guys? Back for another season, eh? Yeah, it's so season three. Season three. Season three now. <laughs> honest, so, I didn't think I'd stick around this song, man, but... Um, I like not... You know what I mean? Like, no, no offense to any. You know, if you want, I could name every trilogy ever made. Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, that was pretty good, man. I actually enjoyed that one. And then Shin's List. Yeah, talk about that. Pretty dark, huh? Yeah, I was riding the high of Guardians of the Galaxy and then chucked that on. Yeah, I mean, it's not yeah. the, the Buzz, best combination. Like, Buzzkill, eh? Chad's now a proud franchise owner. What have you been up to? Well, I've been up to a fair bit, actually. I've actually been made the position of head of marketing for Eat Now. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, so. And he's also the Department of Marketing and Advertising at Eden Out. This is my first launch I'm behind, so you can imagine how successful this is going to be. I'm just heading upwards. I'm like the slogan king. Turns out they're actually just really impressed with some of my slogan ideas. Yeah, I was at the Christmas party chatting to some of the board members, and I had a few beers, and I was just. You know, we always have them laugh, so I let, yes, you do, yeah. told them a few slogans, and they were like, oh, let's set up a meet with you. What some of the slogans? Oh, well, the first first one that's rolling out soon is... Tasty Trout Box. Get your snout in this trout. Tasty Trout Box. Fingers smelling good. The freshest, tastiest smelling trout you can imagine in a burger. So it's fish? Yeah, fish. It's like a fish style burger. You haven't heard of trout burgers before? They're actually well, I've heard in the nation. Yeah. So you're talking about smelling smelling fish, obviously. Not, not, you don't, not fish, like not a fish, but you know, the trout burger that comes in the tasty trout box, you will get that burger and just like, just sniff it. Like, and just focus on the, the herbs and ingredients. We got trout. To be eaten out. Cause we've got like 21 herbs and ingredients. Um, okay. It, like we got way more than that can do, man. Hey guys, look what I got. This is for Jamesy. Look at this. Picked it up at the shop today for a bargain. It's five bucks. Look at that. Jaws. God, look at that poster. That is a, that is a, one of the best posters ever made for a film. I mean, look at it. Look at it. It's just so simplistic. Look at it. Just a big shark and a beautiful naked woman. And it conveys so much in that message. I mean, you look at posters nowadays and, you know, I'm not gonna take a shot at, you know, any, any, uh, you know, movie, <coughs> Marvel. <coughs> uh, you know, but, you know, but you look at those posters and it's like, who am I, who am I watching here? It's like, you got like so many characters on this poster and it's like, I don't know about you, but it's like, I just don't care. You're back to the future, bad boys. I don't even know half the characters, you got, um, a black mamba or something or oh, a black widow um you got uh, thor you got captain america iron man the bad news bears baghdad cafe bolto just imagine the 
the freshest, most tastiest, most like mouth-watering trout you can imagine in a burger in a box. You're getting chips, you're getting like a coleslaw, you're getting the mash and gravy. Like the food comes first, do you know what I mean? So we, we just think, what are two things people love, like the smell of the most? You think of the ocean, you think of trout. You... Yeah. It's projected to be actually a, a really big seller, James. Um, we've got we've, just, got we've got another one in the pipes as well. What's that? The big brown bun banger. Okay. So that's like a nice brown whole grain bun with some seeds and stuff on top, with a nice hot dripping brown sauce. Godfather, Golden Chicken, Golden Heart Trilogy. Welcome back, my homos. It's your boy Alan, and today we are live streaming the 1975 blockbuster hit Jaws, a masterpiece in cinema directed by an upcoming young filmmaker called Steven Spielberg. I'm sure you guys have heard of him. So sit back, guys, enjoy the movie with me, and uh, let's get into it, huh? Jaws. 1975, first, <coughs> first ever blockbuster, directed by an upcoming Steven Spielberg. Pretty much the pinnacle of 70s filmmaking. This is where cinema really started to take off, because a few years later, you had Star Wars. And this part here, I mean, this shook people back in the 70s, you know when you know this girl swam out and the shark comes and take her and people were shocked by it but me personally it's like i was like eh i mean it wasn't really this you know the scare factor i was terrified but i thought well if she's silly enough to like swim out in the middle of that ocean and now uh, you know naked as well well then you know she's kind of asking for trouble you know it's like it's like if a girl walks outside naked like that, I mean, she's gonna, you know, just some trouble, right, guys? Oh, well, yeah, best of luck with that, you know? Yeah, man, thank you. Thank you. So, are you renting movies here today or something? Or? Um, to be honest, man, with the new gig, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to watch any movies. Really? Yeah, so. Really? You know, with this position, man, I can't just be sitting around watching movies all day. It's nice for some, but. I used to be able to do this thing when I was a kid. I'd just drink the whole soft drink. I was going to want to try beers, but I was really good at it. Bottom up, guys. I thought I told you last time not to bring dogs into the store. Yeah, but this isn't a dog. Well, it looks like a dog to me. It, it's a dog-shaped video operation attendant. A dog-shaped video operation. Our finest new product. Yep, we decided there's a role in the market for dogs that can help people in video stores. And you're my target market. Well, you know that there's hardly any video stores left, so I don't know how much of a market that would do. Listen, for that. there will be more video stores when they have people to operate. We figured that, that was the biggest issue that was facing video stores, is the lack of operations attendants shaped like dogs. Okay. I'm going to let work go. Bella here, despite being a wonderful worker, is just a bit of a bane of existence in my life, a thorn in my side. I'm overflowing with dogs, mate. I've been breeding them. I just need you to look after this one. I've got more dogs than bloody blowflies in my house. They're coming out of the cupboards. They're coming out of the roof. There's dogs everywhere. What so are we going to do? So you just need me to look after Belle? Listen, if you wouldn't mind, as a favour from me. There's no room for it here. You know, Noodles brings his dogs around all the time. Uh, I don't, you know, it, I, t I tell people all the time, don't bring your dogs in. They still bring dogs around. I don't understand it. Look who's talking. 
Lord of the Rings. Oh, it's so good. The Lost Boys. Here you go. Give it a get. Did it bite? No, it didn't bite. Nothing. All right, Bella. No. She's a perfectly trained animal. Seriously, Alex, I can't. Listen, a day. I just need a day, mate. A day. I can't have any dogs in the store. You You'll know. be fine. Give Alex, her a go. I'll see you in three days. Alex, I told Noodles about this. Alex, seriously. You'll be right, mate. You wanna, you wanna treat? <sighs> All right, well, I guess I'm gonna have to show you a few things about the store then, huh? There we go. I did see a thing online, a lot of articles actually where a few Department stores and things like that aren't stocking Blu-rays and DVDs anymore. Uh, they're trying to push for this digital, you know, buy everything digital, buy your movies digitally. Who knows how long it could be if you're saying, oh, oh yeah, what, just one day, and then next breath, oh, just three days, you know? So, stuck with Bella here, you know? What are you, what are you gonna do for me? Like, nothing against dogs. I love dogs, you know, but... Some people might have one or two favourite films. Some people might have half a dozen or a dozen. You know, if you're like me, I've got a lot, a lot of favourite films, so... That's why I choose to keep them all on physical media. I know that they're always there. I never have to worry about whether they're not going to be there. Anyway, we're going to go for a walk, aren't we? Let's go for a walk. Is it? Walk? Doesn't understand walk. Alright, come on then. Alright. Let's do it. Alright, come on then. Let's go. Stargate. Starzan. The Street Fighter. Stuart Little. Hey Becky. Hi James. How are you? Here you good. Hey, I'm good. Hey, I'm good. Hey, I'm good. Hey, I'm good. Um, I was just hoping I could talk to you about something. Yeah. What, like in private or? Oh, uh, no, here's fine. Okay. Yeah. Um, just wanted to let you know, um, you remember my friend Clementine from before? Yeah, she lived in the, in the mountains. Well, she did. Yeah, she yeah, did, yeah. yeah. But now she lives, um, she, well, she bought a house. I think that's why I'm really just ready to move out and get away from all of this. Because, like I said, it's just going around in circles. You know, what's better, the physical medium or the digital media, the VHS or the laser disc. So I was kind of thinking it would be a good idea for me to move in there with her. Really? Yeah, I was kind of thinking it would be a good idea, you know, for me to do that. Right. Um, well, that's, you know, that's, that's, yeah, that's good news. Uh, it's not like me or anything, is it? Oh no, not at all. Like I just thought it'd be nice, like you know, just is like a Alan? change. Oh, a little bit, yeah. I'm not gonna Alan. lie, yeah, a little bit, but I'm probably just getting in the way of all of this anyway, so it'll give you more room to. <coughs> well, no, you know, I don't think you're in the way of any of this. Like, I just think that James's whole world revolves around home video and the home video channel. And he hasn't really got any space or any capacity for anything else, really. That's his dream. And he has tunnel vision on it. You know, he's got his blinkers on like the horses, like he can't see anything else. Um, yeah, and he doesn't have time for anyone else, so... It's a little bit frustrating. It's only half an hour, Yeah. Well, I mean, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. If, if, that, if that's what you want to do. Yeah, I think it will be just something different. So I'll probably do it.
Zenon, Zeitgeist, Zorro, Yeah, I think that's I think that's it guys.